Solid JS was created by a very dedicated man named Ryan Carniato. Ryan spent five years working on version one of Solid JS. Anyone who is dedicated enough to work on something for five years is worth learning about in my book. Ryan published the initial commit on what would become the Solid JS framework on August 21st, 2016. It was committed two months before another popular JavaScript framework, Svelte, was released. Ryan had this to say in his Solid JS 1.0 release statement on June 28th, 2021. I can safely say a stable release has been thousands of hours and at least five years in the making. The first question on everyone's mind is, why another JavaScript framework? Please stop with all the JavaScript framework. Should you learn JavaScript? Nope. Is there any other option? No. Nope. Is it maintainable? No. Is it portable? While there are plenty of JavaScript frameworks to go around, there is a very specific reason why Ryan created a new one. SolidJS isn't like other JavaScript frameworks. It truly is unique. And in my opinion, it all comes down to speed. Ryan Carniato fundamentally changed how a reactive JavaScript framework works. Instead of using a virtual DOM like React.js, SolidJS uses a compiler. Instead of going through this complicated process, process that nobody really understands of updating the virtual DOM before going on to reconcile with the real DOM, SolidJS just updates the real DOM directly. Listen to Ryan explain this fundamental change. My goal back then was to kind of bring back fine-grained reactivity, which we'll cover in this talk. I was a big fan of a older library called uh, Knockout.js, and I'd grown accustomed to the patterns of using function components and building UIs from these composable, small, reusable behaviors. And honestly, I didn't believe the claims about the virtual DOM. They kind of confused me. I knew that reactivity was performant. So I thought maybe we just need to attack this a different way. So I attacked it and I attacked it, honestly. Um, by mid-2018, Solid had topped the JS Framework benchmark, JS Repaint benchmark, uh, UI bench, uh, Circles demo, um, basically every benchmark I could possibly find. Ryan didn't see the point in updating a virtual DOM before updating the real DOM. Ryan knew from personal experience that you could update the real DOM directly and still be reactive. This fundamental change in mindset allowed Ryan to create a JavaScript framework from scratch that is reactive, super fast, and extremely lightweight. Whenever you update data in a functional component, the data on the actual DOM is updated directly. It does not first update a virtual DOM. The component is not re-rendered every time there is a change. It finds the place on the actual DOM the updated data should be located and only updates that part of the actual DOM. So SolidJS is still reactive, even though it doesn't use a virtual DOM. And look at its size. SolidJS is only seven kilobytes. It's crazy. It destroys the competition on all the key performance benchmarks. And even though it gets you closer to using vanilla JavaScript, it still fully supports TypeScript. And for all the React developers out there, if you like React hooks, you'll love SolidJS. The way you save and update state in SolidJS looks almost exactly the same as React hooks. What Ryan Carniato has created truly is remarkable. His dedication and results prove that you really can do anything you set your mind to. It took Ryan five years to finish the first stable version of SolidJS, but he actually did it. And you can too. Like the video if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you would like to learn more about how SolidJS works, I plan on coming out with a crash course soon. So you'll want to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when that video comes out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.